different kind of video. I am sitting in my bathing suit. This is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring from A Strange Angle. Check it out. <laughs> Got my hat on. Okay, so, hi, my name is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring. Can you see me? Oh no, too shadowy. Okay, I'm just playing around. I just did a figure drawing session in my living room. Uh, I do it every Friday night from 6.45 p.m. to uh, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I basically pose from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, only two people drew me tonight. I think the most I've ever had is five. Um, so I need to find more people that uh, want to draw on Friday nights. I might try a different day or time. Uh, somebody said um, that a Saturday evening or Sunday anytime might work. Uh, if you like to draw the model online, you can see you, if you're an artist or a beginner who wants to draw the model, you can suggest a day or time and then I will do this. I'm going to try to see if I can get onto do a live video on another site. Here we go. Let's check this out. Live video. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. Let me see if I can put the camera over here. Okay, start live video. Uh, I'm hoping that I'm live. Uh, this is Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring. I, oh, this is good lighting, isn't it? Is this good lighting? Am I here live, everybody? This is good lighting. I have a plant grow light that I shine on myself uh, from what, oh look, see I'm, I'm on YouTube, Facebook, YouTube, Facebook. I'm doing, uh, I'm not live on YouTube, but I'm recording a video on my webcam for YouTube. Hi YouTube. Hi Facebook. Uh, can you hear me okay? Please tell me. This is my beautiful hat that my friend gave me. Hi Kisun, my kitty's coming over. Hey Kisun. Hi, kitty kitty. Hey, here he is. Oh, he's so old. Look it. He's so beautiful. He's my beautiful boy. Can you hear me okay? Is anybody out there? Is anybody there? Okay, I'm going to cut this short and I'll be back and test this out. That I'm live. Okay, so I'm still on this other video. Um, I'm going to try. I think that worked. Hi. Uh, I am doing a video. This is funky. Um, okay, I'm going to try again. Start live video. Hi, YouTube. Hi, Facebook. This is Shannon Kringen. I am Goddess Kring. I am an art model, and I'm trying to get my online figure session to be more popular. Um, but so far, it's not worked very well. I started, I think, on May 15th or so, uh, doing a weekly figure drawing session from my apartment. And not very many people have been showing up. So I think Friday nights, I'm having people from the Midwest and the East Coast draw me who have never met me before. So there's uh, new people that want to draw me because I'm fresh to them. So maybe I'll try a different day or a different time. Do you like to draw the model? Do you have a certain time or day that you might want to draw? Um, let me put the camera over here. Let me see if this works. What kind of angle is this? I'm in my bathing suit right now. Does that work? Let's see. <laughs> How funny is that? Now I'm like too far from the camera. Or am I too far from the camera? So it's fun to try this angle. Um, I was just figure modeling for two hours and um, hi everybody. Can you hear me or see me? I'm Shannon Kringen. I've been art modeling since 1992 and I am continuing to art model. Um, I was all natural tonight. I wasn't wearing anything. I don't know if I'm allowed to say the word nude on here. Um, is that like a catchphrase that I'm not supposed to say? Hey, Kisun, there's my kitty. There's Kisun. He's my kitty boy. He's healthy. Yeah, oh, you're so beautiful, Kisun. Look at you. Brrr. He's so beautiful. Sometimes my kitty will pose with me. Yay. He's so pretty. You're so handsome. Yes. Kisun gets a raw meat diet. 
Yes, Kisun is mildly diabetic, but I don't have to inject him with insulin because I switched him to a raw meat diet. It's a long story, but he's doing well. He was a little bit under the weather because I think I made the mistake of feeding him some free meat that I got from the food bank, which I don't think was very high quality. So I stopped doing that and he's getting better. Um, I switched back to the fancy schmancy um, special um, nutritionally balanced for all life stages cat food from the healthy pet food store. Yes, and he's doing well now. He's doing much better. Yes. He's a little bit on the slim side. Um, some He's mildly diabetic. Some diabetic cats are overweight. He's a little bit underweight. So he could probably gain a little bit of weight and it would be good for him. Um, he eats a whole bunch of really small meals a day because if I give him too big of a portion, he gulps it really fast and he tends to throw up. So I have to give him like little meals throughout the day and then he, he keeps it down. And his, his poop and pee is very healthy. So not to gross anybody out, but hi YouTube and hi Facebook. I'm doing a Facebook Live on my smartphone and then on my webcam I'm doing uh, a YouTube that I'm going to upload later. So uh, this is my lighting that I used for art modeling. It's a little dark in here now, but I have one light source from the side and I set up my guitar and some house plants and I had dark fabric on the walls behind me. Um, that made a different kind of background, but it made my skin kind of get really washed out because of the high contrast, although it looked kind of like a Rembrandt painting, which I thought was cool. Um, I hope the audio works on my smartphone. Sometimes it, it goes in and out. Um, I hope you can hear me and see me. Hi, this is Shannon Kringen, art model and artist, multimedia artist. Um, I have a Patreon where you can support me. And... Um, it's nice, two people drew me tonight and paid, and then two other people donated um, a small donation to me, uh, which helps support me. So I really am appreciative. So it's almost like four people drew me tonight. Even though really only two people drew me, it was almost like four people were there with me in support. Uh, thank you so much. I'm going to go for a walk. I take daily walks for exercise, and I get vitamin D. I sunbathe in a bikini. My kitty wants me to pet him. Oh, you're going to bite me. Okay, he's going to bite me. <laughs> you're going to bite me, little wild tiger. You're a wild tiger. Kitty, kitty. Hi. Hello, everybody. It's Friday night. How are you? Uh, I'm going to go for a walk. And I have two face mask um, orders to um, mail tomorrow. And I'm excited. I'm going to see my creative writing friends and... Um, so what day or time do you think that I should add? Oh, he's going to sit in front of the camera. How cute is that? Oh, my gosh. Look at how sweet that is. You're so sweet. You're a model. Yeah, you're a beautiful model, just like me. That's so beautiful. Hi, Kisun. You're so beautiful. I love you. He's a good boy. Oh, he's such a good boy. He's a good boy. Do you talk to your dog or cat in a funny voice like me? Kisun, kitty, 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 hello. Hey, puppies. I call him puppies. Yeah, he's a good boy. I take him for walks on a leash and a harness just in, in the front yard of my building. It's fenced in, so I keep him real safe with me. He gets kind of spooked if he sees the mailman or something, so I don't walk him out on the street around my neighborhood because he freaks out. Some of my other cats, like Tux and Stella, uh, I could let them out a little bit on their own, and they would walk around the block with me and walk around the neighborhood. Uh, my mom and dad have both walked cats, so I come from a family of cat walkers. What can I say? So my mom and dad have both walked their cats. Literally, my parents are divorced, but they've both walked cats. They both had cats that they were really close to that would follow them around outside around the block, and I have done the same. So I come from a family of cat walkers. My grandmother was also very good with animals. My mom and my dad and my grandma and me, all of us are very good with animals and pretty good with plants. Hey, Kisun. Oh, he's so beautiful. So, uh, hi. And um, this is my light. This, again, it's a plant grow light that I have shining from one side. It creates dramatic shadows on my skin. And um, I, I can model in a bikini or a bathing suit or a bodysuit 
or Fully Natural, and I've done all of that online um, for private groups that are that's secure. I, I've modeled a Fully Natural, Fully Figure, Figure Model, um, and for most of the art schools, even though I'm comfortable being all natural, they tell us that they want us to wear a bikini um, so that we can feel more secure. But I personally don't care if the entire world sees me nude. I really don't care. Like I'm not, I don't have the kind of ego um, that is worried about that. And my full-time job is being a, a natural figure model. And so it's not like I have a conservative boss that would judge me for being nude in front of people. Thank God for that. So. Um, I've been an, uh, a figure model for 28 years, and so the idea of being nude in front of people seems normal to me, um, and it's not weird, and it's not um, uh, dangerous, I don't think. So um, what was I going to say? So I'm going to pick another day or time. Um, to try to run a figure group. So Friday nights, I've been doing that for a couple months, and um, it's it's a little bit successful, but not very successful. So I would like to find more people that want to draw me on Friday nights. Uh, I constantly promote it, constantly. I promote it on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, I have a blogger, a WordPress, a live journal, a Tumblr, a WeMe, uh, my own website, ShannonKringen.com. I promote it constantly all over the place. But there are hundreds of figure models online, tons of really great, talented, beautiful models, male, female, black, white, Asian, Hispanic, young, old, skinny, muscular, voluptuous, very curvy, overweight by society standards. There's every body type. Figure models come in every body type, which which is what makes it interesting in every ethnicity. Um, and I love that about figure modeling. It's not like fashion modeling where you have to be really skinny or really tall or look a certain way in a, in a picky Hollywood whatever um, style. Um, some of the most popular art models, actually, aside from the really young, amazing, flexible ones that can bend and twist and turn and do like yoga poses and amazing gymnastic contortions, I've never been very flexible, but I can hold still and I'm comfortable with people staring at me and drawing me or painting me. Uh, some of the really popular models are actually older, so I'm looking forward to my hair turning white and silver and getting all wrinkly. Um, there's a lot of, of models that are popular that are old and wrinkly, that are um, older people. Maybe they're mostly men, but there are some older women who model. And I plan to model for the next 20 years. I'm 51, so I could model for, like, tell I'm 70-something. If people still want to draw me and paint me, I'm indeed, I will keep modeling. Um, and I'll be an older model with wrinkles and character lines, and uh, my cat will model with me. <laughs> He actually, he's so cute. He sometimes will sit, he'll jump on the couch and sit right next to me when I'm posing. And he'll sit there and look very regal. And it just seems like it's all meant to be. So I hope that, hi, YouTube. I hope that's recording. This is Shannon Craig and Goddess Craig. And hi, Facebook. This is Shannon Craig and Goddess Craig. Um, recording myself on two cameras simultaneously. How are you today? Uh, I'm having to agree to disagree with lots of people on lots of topics, and I'm trying to have compassion for myself and compassion for other people who feel differently than me about the current medical and economic crisis that we're in. Uh, I have very different opinions than the average person, and um, I admire people who are focused on nutrition and health and are trailblazers and question the status quo and don't just blindly follow anything, whether it's alternative or mainstream or left or right or center or whatever. Uh, I'm a communist. No, I'm not a communist. Um, <laughs> no, I, I like democratic socialism mixed with capitalism. I like I, I like a hybridization of those things. And uh, I'm really into nutrition. And uh, I don't want to say anything. Okay, I'm trying not to say anything too controversial because it'll get me in trouble. You might get mad at me if I say anything controversial. So I'm a fan of free speech and democracy. I'm a fan of ethics. I'm a fan of being healthy. 
financially, emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually, every level. Uh, I'm a fan of feeding my cat raw meat that is made for cats. It's not just hunks of raw meat. It's especially formulated for uh, nutritionally balanced for all life stages of a feline cat. Um, and it's from the health food pet store and it has uh, organ meats like heart and liver and muscle meats and it has bones ground up into it or eggshells because cats need the minerals in those um, because if they were hunting they would eat you know raw meat in that way and they would eat the bones and the guts and everything um, so I give him special stuff it's got taurine in it it's got vitamins and minerals uh, in the proper nutritional bed and he's doing really well so that's just an example of something I do that's not mainstream um, I don't feed my cat commercial pet food that a vet would recommend at all because that's got carbohydrates in it which is bad for him and ironically if I fed him what the what the vet wanted me to feed him he would get, be getting too many carbs his blood sugar would go too high and I would have to inject him with insulin and when you give a cat insulin, you have to give them a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of insulin. Otherwise, their blood sugar could get too low. They could have a seizure and die. So it's very, very crucial if you have to give a cat insulin that you do the proper dose and that you constantly check their blood sugar. And I had to prick his ear to get his or prick his toe, which he would not let me do. He would not let me prick his cute little toe. So I had to prick his ear and he hated it and he did not put up with it and I tried and tried and tried and no so I decided to go the route of radically changing his diet and luckily a no carb diet he right away was happy and was enthusiastic about eating raw meat I feed him rabbit lamb chicken turkey beef pork venison uh, salmon a little tiny freeze-dried fish uh, like little sardines and he is happy and his pee and poop is so healthy he's got cute little dark brown poops that are not stinky or gross and um, when he was under the weather uh, recently his 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 poop was like all diarrhea and a light color and it was just awful um, and for a few days he was like that and he was a little bit lethargic and didn't have much of an appetite and I was really worried about him and I was almost going to take him to the vet and now he's doing better and I'm glad I did not take him to the vet um, because he gets really stressed out at the vet I've taken him three times to the vet his blood sugar and heart rate goes way up and he drools he gets really stressed out at the vet so I didn't want to stress him out and he's 14 years old so he's an older cat aren't you yes you are he's an older cat so um okay I don't want to ramble about my cat but hi everybody this is Shannon Craig and Goddess Craig I tend to go on and on and on in these videos um I'm gonna go for a walk and get some exercise I'm so grateful that um two people drew me and two people donated so basically four people supported me tonight for my figure drawing thank you so much everyone who supports me thank you to my patrons on patreon um, thank you anybody online who just says nice things to me or appreciates my individuality I appreciate your individuality everyone is unique in their own way literally we're all unique and I like that I like to think of people as individuals instead of labeling them as left wing or right wing or male or female or trans or uh, mainstream alternative um, whatever all the labels are introvert extrovert only child uh, comes from a big family blah 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 I'm an only child I'm left-handed and I'm an only child uh, I'm mostly an introvert with sort of extroverted tendencies in terms of modeling and performing but I'm kind of socially more of an introvert. Like I like to spend a lot of time to myself, so I'm not really finding the current changes that challenging in terms of I always like to stay home and be with my cat um, and do my artwork and model for people. I can still model. Um, yesterday, Tuesday and Thursday of this week, I modeled for an art school um, in a bikini uh, for an instructor that I've worked with for years and it was just nice to see her again online because last time I saw her was in person at one of the art schools downtown Seattle um, so it was really nice to work with her students for three hours on Tuesday and three hours on Thursday and I got to lie down and do foreshortened poses like straight towards the camera like that lying down and they got to draw me like foreshortened and my cat posed in a couple of the, of the of the drawings they did of me. Um, my cat's name is Kisun. 
Kisun is Russian for kitty. I adopted him from a Russian uh, lady and I kept his name because I love his name, Kisun. Kisun is a good boy. So I'm going to take him for a walk and then I'm going to take myself for a walk. And he's a happy boy. He gets to have more rabbits soon. I've been fe I'm feeding him raw rabbit right now that I got from the Healthy Pet Food Store. And it's a nice rabbit mix. You like it, don't you? Yes, he loves the rabbit. Um, he's such a good cat. Okay, so I love him. He sleeps with me every night. He's a great kitty and he's happy. He gets fresh air and sunshine and time in the grass every day. Yeah. So thanks for being here with me. <laughs> Love you, kitty on the camera. Okay, so I'm going to sign off. Um, thanks for being here. Um, okay, hello. So I'll wave at you, and I don't think there's anybody here anymore. Nobody's here because I tend to ramble on and people leave. But if anybody watches this, hey, that's great. Um, bye for now. Yay. This is Shannon Kringen. I okay. And oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm still on the other camera. Okay. I'm still on this camera. Let me just move this. Here we go. Funky, funky. Okay. 21 minutes. Wow. I did a long video. Woo. How do you like my new setup? Lots of shadows. Okay. Bye for now.